Let's talk about rigid non-metallic conduit. And if you run it through bored holes in wood, does it need nail plates sometimes? And you see in the lower part of this picture, a kind of rigid non-metallic conduit. It's Schedule 40 rigid PVC non-metallic conduit, and it's listed. And you also see in the top part, there's three screws in it. The rigid PVC conduit offers almost no resistance at all to regular everyday deck screws. Now we'll go to the 2023 NEC Article 300.4 Protection Against Physical Damage. Where subject to physical damage, conductors, raceways, and by the way, rigid PVC is a kind of raceway, and cables shall be protected. A. Cables and raceway through wood members. And one board holes in both exposed and concealed locations where a cable or raceway type wiring method is installed through board holes in joists, rafters, or wood members. Holes shall be bored so that the edge of the hole is not less than 32 millimeters, that's one and a quarter inches, from the edges of the wood member. Where this distance cannot be maintained, the cable or raceway shall be protected from penetration by screws or nails by a steel plate or plates or bushing or bushings at least 1.6 millimeters, that's 1 16th of an inch thick, and of appropriate length and width installed to cover the area of the wiring. Here we are, exception number one, steel plates shall not be required to protect rigid metal conduit intermediate metal conduit, rigid PVC, see this is new right here, this PVC, rigid PVC conduit, RTRC, reinforced thermosetting resin conduit, or electrical metallic tubing. So for 2023, the NEC is very specific to point out that it's okay to not have nail plates for rigid PVC conduit. And I can't explain it. They specifically put it in to the 2023 code. It did say rigid non-metallic conduit in 2020. But this year, it specifically mentions rigid PVC conduit. Doesn't need steel plates. Doesn't need nail plates. So let's say that this conduit was rigid PVC. And there was perhaps 3 eighths of an inch of wood to the hole, or even if there was five eighths of an inch from the edge of the wood to the hole, would this really not need a nail plate? That's what I'm reading when I read this code. I understand about the exception for rigid metal conduit, intermediate metal conduit, and even EMT, but you guys think I'm wrong in being concerned about the strength of rigid PVC conduit to resist screws and nails? <laughs> or are you curious about this along with me? So anyway, this is new for 2023. And what are your thoughts? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks.